When I was in high school, before I ever played a high school football game, before my junior year, I went to the Penn State kicking camp because I was told that I should go there. So I go to this Penn State kicking camp, and I dominate. I mean, Big I was decade just, for Penn State. Oh, uh, yikes. All right. <laughs> Nebraska! All right. He, was, he had to prepare for Nebraska. But <laughs> the, um, the kicking camp, I did well. This is before I played in the game. I kicked balls very, very far. All their coaches were there. Tom Bradley now, who's with the Pittsburgh Steelers, was there. Uh, Mike McQuarrie was there. Yes, that Mike McQuarrie that Nick just referred to, basically. All their coaches were there. And I, I did very well. And they said, hey, we can't wait for you to be a Nittany Lion. Right? I won the camp. I won the kicking camp, the whole thing. We can't wait for you to be a Nittany Lion. I'm like, awesome. Before I even played a game, I got a scholarship ball for the Penn State. <laughs> like, this is really cool. Throughout my entire junior season, my first year playing, I'm getting letters from Penn State with, like, my face on uniforms like the entire thing, handwritten letters, the whole thing. So then after my junior year, going into my senior year, I go back to the camp again. And I'm there on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. On Sunday, a guy shows up to kick against me, specifically against me, right? Like that is 100% what happened. It was very obvious. The kind of camp kind of ended. Then they had me and this guy kick who just got there. I just kicked Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. No big deal, by the way. I, I don't care. I can kick all day. It's literally what I did growing up. So I kick one, do very well in that. I head home, all of a sudden, about two months later, I get asked to take a, a visit to Penn State up there. So my dad and I drive up, you know, we have a good time. As soon as I get there, Mike McQuarrie walks up to me and he says, uh, hey, just wanna let you know uh, that we're gonna offer a scholarship to Kevin Kelly, uh, the guy that you kicked against on Sunday, who's from Philadelphia. Uh, we don't know if you're a Penn State guy, but we would like to offer you a preferred walk-on spot. So my dad and I looked at each other and we're like, well, why the hell did this guy have us drive up here to tell us that, right? And my dad's like, well, we're not going to pay for a Penn State education. I don't know how to tell you that. So we literally shake his hand and leave, okay? So I'm upset. I'm distraught. I almost stopped kicking at this point and just focus on soccer. So Kevin Kelly gets a scholarship there. I'm distraught. One, a very bad week in my life. I thought I was going to Penn State. It was basically locked in. I thought I was going up there to accept a scholarship to go to Penn State, the whole thing. I was very, very upset. Going to return my focus to soccer. Hopefully, I could still sneak in the back door with one of like the hundred schools that was contacting me for soccer. So I go in. Obviously, Kent State offers me like a week later. And then a week or a month before signing day, I go to that kicking camp down in Florida. I hit a 65-yard field goal. West Virginia offers me the next morning. I change my tune. I go to West Virginia. Blah, blah, blah. So I end up in the NFL. I get drafted to the Colts. I'm a punter, which means I'm a holder. Obviously, I lied to Bill Polian's face, said that <laughs> I held all through college because I knew this was a possibility. As soon as I get drafted, Vinatieri obviously asked me if I ever held before I say no. He sends me to a holder camp with Ken Walter. Whatever. The rest is history. We go to the Super Bowl. We have a good time. So then I go away for a break. And that break is my first off time in my entire life. And I have a lot of money in my pocket. So I went very hard. The last thing I thought about during that break after the Super Bowl was a football. I, I didn't play catch. I didn't do anything. The first day we get back for OTAs, okay? Vinatieri had a hip injury the year before. Bill Polian comes up to me. He's like, hey, after this workout, I need you to go hold for a workout for somebody. I'm like, you got it. I run sprints. I go out. I'm very tired. I'm like 40 pounds overweight. I haven't even looked at a football in like three, four months. I go outside. Kevin Kelly. <laughs> oh. Well, hello there. Utilize the promo code pay the bills and get $20 off your first order from SeaKeek. Now, back to the magic. He's a lefty kicker, okay? So I've never held for a lefty kicker. I barely have held for a righty kicker. So I'm now I have to hold on the opposite side. And I'm the backup snapper snapping to me. In that moment, I learned I was a good person because I was actually trying to help that kid out, like absolutely trying my best. But there was no way he was going to make kicks with me holding on the other side. <laughs> kid, he went like one for 10, I think, that day. It was the worst day of his life, and it was probably my fault, but that was a little payback for what happened in high school. That's all I want to say about that. And I never held for a lefty again, ever again. Never held for a lefty again. Everything comes full circle. It was wild. They didn't tell me who it was, so I walked out of the workout – I had like this longer hair. I had like a headband on, sweating, like dead. And I look, I'm like, that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and then my next thought was, oh, he's a lefty. That, that was like, my first thought was that son of a bitch. And then my second one was, oh, he's a lefty. I have no, it's the opposite hand. It's an op different lean, the whole thing. I tried my best though. That was the day where I really learned like, hey, you can be a good guy. Bygones can be bygones. I absolutely tried my best, but he did not get a fair shake with me holding for him at all.